In step three of exercise number nine, the following actions have to be implemented to define another iMachining 3D operation to perform the rest machining of the prismatic part. First, create a copy of the current iMachining 3D operation. Click the Save and Copy button. The current iMachining operation dialog box closes and the copied operation automatically opens. On the geometry page, the solid model of the target is copied and should be used for the machining geometry. In the Working Area section, click the Define button to display the Working Area dialog box. In the Cut Only the Rest Material section, click the Show 3D button. After the updated stock calculation is completed, you'll see what the current iMachining 3D operation is using for its starting stock model. Click the Exit button to close the Solid Verify simulation window and then click OK to close the Working Area dialog box. Next, switch to the Tool page. Because this operation was copied, it is specified to use the same tool as the previous operation. To select a smaller tool for rest machining the tighter areas and corners, first click the Select button to display the Part Tool table. Then, select Tool number 3 the 6mm end mill with 24mm cutting length and 4 flutes. By switching to the iData tab, you'll see that this tool also has a 45 degree helical angle. These tool parameters will affect the cutting conditions generated by the technology wizard. Click the select button to choose the tool for the operation and exit the part tool table. Next, switch to the levels page. This operation can use the copied milling levels parameters from the previous operation. With the same levels as before, iMachining 3D will analyze the updated stock model and automatically determine the machining required to cut only the rest material. Next, switch to the Technology Wizard page to choose a calculated set of cutting conditions, which will be different from the previous operation due to the new tool definition. For this operation, use the default cutting conditions generated by the wizard with a machining level aggressiveness of 6. Looking at the step-down output grid, the wizard automatically calculated one step to achieve the maximum depth. The ACP indication at that depth is 5.0, and the field is painted green for good stability. Looking at the output cutting data, you can view the two sets of data related to the current cutting condition the spin and feed rate of the tool, the stepover range, the material cutting speed, etc. Next, switch to the technology page to define the technological parameters. Because this is a prismatic part, you should specify a smaller value for the scallop parameter when defining an iMachining 3D operation to perform the rest of machining. Enable the Override checkbox to open the field for editing and manually enter a scallop value of 0.24 mm. In the Offsets area, leave the copied value of 0.24 mm for the surface and wall offset parameter. At this point, the operation can be calculated and the iMachining 3D toolpath can be viewed on the model. First, name the operation i3dRestTarget. Then, click the Save and Calculate button to add the operation to the cam tree and calculate the toolpath. After the calculation is completed, click the Simulate button to display the simulation control panel. After the updated stock calculation is completed for the operation, click the Play button using the Solid Verify simulation mode. The smaller tool approaches and removes the rest material left after the previous operation. After just two iMachining 3D operations, the cam part is fully prepared for finishing. Using the exit buttons, close the simulation control panel and the iMachining operation dialog box. At this stage, step three is complete. If you have not followed along, Apply and practice the procedures shown in this video to define the rest machining of the prismatic part. In the next steps, 
you have to define the finish machining of the prismatic part. The strategies utilized are from the 2.5D milling and automatic feature recognition and machining modules. Depending on your level of experience and the principles that you prefer to follow, you may choose to use different strategies in your everyday applications other than those shown in the upcoming videos.